a small compact design. Um, I think that'll that's interesting that that boat is now there. That boat was here originally. Mysterious, someone has moved it. Uh, okay, so first things first. The boat is here. It's where it should be. It's not in the middle of the lake. It's here. I'm not moving it. Stay. You stay there. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll take. Uh, I think we'll take Castle for a, for a run. Uh, I haven't ridden this horse, so we'll see what she's like for for speed and things. And one second, is that? Oh my God. Okay, Castle. Look, you stay here. What is going on with that boat? It's in a different spot. It was over here last time. Hello? I'm... <laughs> there must be some sort of bug <laughs> that involves the... Um... Something to do with the... I don't know. I'm absolutely baffled by that. Uh, I... Oh, I haven't ridden anywhere. I haven't... Okay, stay. Just stay there. It's not... Like, it's not jammed into the dock or anything. Oh, that is... Got me baffled. I'll have to look that up later. See if there's a... Uh, see if there's a known bug. <laughs> it moved! Did you see that? It moved! What the hell? That is spooky. Wow, that is so weird. I'm in a haunted boat. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Oh, you stay there. As you can see, I have tackled the boat situation. We will have no more boat moving here. Unfortunately, this makes the boat a little bit inaccessible, but uh, I'd say uh, a problem I'm willing to deal with being that I do not want that thing to move on its own anymore. Big bad boat, you stay away. Please bad boat, don't haunt my day. We beg of you and also pray to come again another day. To come again another day. To come again another day. To come again. I'm sure I left him in there. What? Um, Lee bag. Lee bag. Um, appearance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I took him over here. No. Um, where else? Uh, oh, that's right. I was doing some smelting. Maybe I left him up here. Lee bag. Lee bag. Lee bag. Uh, can't stop. Got to find flea bag. Oh, um, um, Zinkberg. Uh, welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play series. This is episode twelve. Uh, oh, I'm starting to get worried, guys. I don't know where flea bag's gone. This is this is not good. Can be a real pain for me to edit this later. You guys seen Fleabag? No? Okay. Uh, I don't know, maybe I took him down with me when I did that stuff downstairs. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Let's go have a look. Sure, I didn't take him in here. Yeah. Uh, you will need 
need me. At the boat. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. So, this is a frightening thing to see on a single player uh, world. Uh, okay. You will need me. Well, that's new. That's normal. Um, Fleabag is gone. What? Okay. My god. Is it a banjo? <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> banjos are terrifying. I don't like banjos. Um, where were we? Uh, you were wrong to mock me? This is this is kind of freaking me out of me. Especially the banjo. I hate banjos. Yes, it's a banjo. This will really drag on if you keep ad living, so focus up. A room transformed to take the flow. It will all happen down below. Okay. A trip you'll take, you have no choice. He's waiting for his master's voice. Um, you need me more than I need you. I'll tell you what you have to do. There's no more time for rhyme nor song. Just wait a sec, I've got the timings wrong. Oh, what? Oh. Okay. Um... This is new. Um, this looks like um, this looks like my. There's no way to stand. No, no, what? Wait, there's one over here. Yeah. I don't like this one bit. Um, this looks like my mining shaft where I've been getting all the stone and stuff, for, but. Kind of a little bit different from what I remember. Um, oh, there's a sign over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Scary, huh? Yeah, just a tad. Oh, I hope there are no wardens down here. That is not going to be fun. Um... Very pretty though. It's like someone spent an awful amount of time. Oh no! What? Oh. Oh, it's okay, we didn't have the budget for a warden. <laughs> nice, okay. Oh, I will never get used to that noise. That is freaky. This is huge. It sure looks like someone put a lot of work into it. It's a creeper thing. That's, that's just moss. <laughs> Maybe. No. Oh, no, I don't want to deal with mobs and stuff. This is not. This is not good. I wonder. <coughs> Stupid butt, you got me into this. Uh, I don't know what I'm meant to do. What? Oh. 
Okay. I swear I heard a splash. Was that me splashing? <laughs> oh, ow, oh, ow. What? Okay. Um, wait. Oh, don't tell me I've got to go down there. Fleabag is fine. He's in the castle. Thank you for playing my game. Love your boat. Boats are people too? Are they? Look, I think this boat guy's got a bit of a problem. It looks like I've got a problem. Anyway. Boats are people too. Okay. In the castle. Oh, ow. Listen. Whoever did that redstone, <laughs> you need to work on that. <laughs> Stop hitting me with you. Um, very good. Okay, well, I'll see you up at the castle, guys. See you there. I guess that was a bit of fun. Uh, so... Before we get started on the, on showing you what's happened in the castle here, we're standing on a new piece of land. After after I made a big fuss about uh, placing so many blocks in the last episode, uh, I went and placed a whole lot more. And uh, this is the finished product, so uh, I guess we should... I'll quickly show you. What we're up to here so this is this is what we ended up with created this area around here the whole point of this um so i want to put some i want to put some extra sort of buildings and things around here like create a um, like a market type atmosphere around here or, or at least part of a village you know with with castles it's not just about the big building itself I didn't realize how big my butt was. Anyway. So. Yeah, so that, that's what's going to happen here. Let's let's have a look over towards the, the castle. Oh, before we go on. So the whole point to that little uh, that little thing that I was doing there was we're going to play a little game called Find Fleabag. So the goal will be this episode and maybe continuing into uh, future episodes as well. I might play it whether or not you guys join me. That's up to you. So Fleabag is hidden somewhere in the castle as the signs sort of suggested. Um, they, he could be anywhere. That could be him then. No, it's not. It's just a flower. Remember, Fleabag has a light blue collar, cyan collar. He's sitting around somewhere. He will appear in one of the shots, no doubt, as we go around. Um, so keep an eye out. And uh, if you manage to find him, if you manage to spot him, just chuck it in the uh, chuck the timestamp in the comment section down below, and uh, I'll give you a shout out next video for being the wonderful winner and a massive prize a huge prize they have prizes that are so big you won't know what to do with them yeah so uh, we have done almost nothing here i did do a little bit of work just up here to fix that a, a little bit I'm still, yeah, I'm not happy with this bit up here, but we'll um, we'll take a look at that. Um, I have changed the side of the stairs as I said I was going to, so so this is the new wall that, that goes up rather than having the uh, fences that we had before. There is oh, I've got shaders on. Um, let me know shaders on or shaders off. What do you want? Shaders on just a little bit more laggy and sometimes I find the shadows and things a little bit overbearing but I, I think it does look pretty so yeah make a make a decision uh, if you guys want to see shaders on or shaders off you can just tell me that <laughs> so a little bit of a pond here um, just uh, oh, fall into it 
yeah, a cool little trick making these lilies here. These are um, the lilies are that's a trapdoor, a birch trapdoor, with an item frame on top of it, with a coral block on the item frame, and then some coral uh, on the actual on the trapdoor. Because this trapdoor actually sits on the water level, the coral will survive. So that, that gives a cool sort of. They're water lilies, is that what they're called? And we've got some um, just some fireplaces that have been extinguished there. Yeah, it's it's I mean, it's just a, a little filler, it, I think it looks pretty cool. It goes around to the, the river, which is heading uh, heads down over this way. Um, so I've got a little creek or a river that runs down here. Yeah, how much better is it that I can jump around up here and show you. So that goes down onto the side and, and down into a little waterfall down there. Uh, oh, I, I am pretty well finished the externals of the um, of the castle now. This is this is pretty well done. Um, so let's let's take a bit of a tour around the around the outside and just see what's uh, where we're up to with it. So yeah, we've got the pond over here, that hasn't changed too much. The actual castle itself, uh, not a great deal. I've gone around and done all of the walls, um, adding some texturing and things like that into all of these spaces that were plain stone. I have missed a couple of spots up here, but that's okay. I'll, I'll get in and fix those up. Um, it's hard to make random look random. You know, like so putting in if you put too many blocks it looks like you've put too many blocks if you um, if you don't put enough of a particular block then it looks a bit weird and things too so it's it's very difficult to get it looking truly random but but I think I've done okay on most of it yeah so we, we you've already seen this bit all up here all finished we come up around here this bit here is now done for the most part I think we did the I did the um, texturing on this bit here still undecided about the black glass but I've got some um, I've got some black dye coming in now on a farm so that's good I've done some work up here just to the the insides of these I'll show you that a bit more in depth uh, this spire here I managed to fix I'm, I'm really happy with the way that looks now uh, that was just a matter of uh, making it a bit taller so, so I just ripped down the top of it and extended this part here up a little bit and rebuilt all of that so yeah I think that looks really nice now that's that's good we've got a little uh, little water feature here with a little bit of a something that looks like it'll come out <laughs> looks like it's not staying there um, <laughs> a little water fountain over here with some flowers yeah that's the basics of, of what we've got there and just took away all of this this grass that was here so that we could and, and flattened out this level so that we could yeah extend it out and, and do all of that over there so yeah that's um, that's looking really cool go inside we're pretty well sleepy time anyway so um, oh, I don't want to ruin it look I'll just look down at the floor let's have a look one, three two one sleep ah oh, yeah perfect perfectly done perfectly done so let's have a look so from the front here I've I, done a bit of work here just getting um, some ideas for the colors and the way things work I don't know about that but we'll see how that goes uh, so this is the main throne room this design I've actually built before in another castle and I, uh, I just took some screenshots of it and spent a crazy amount of time trying to work out how I had done this little bit here um, was was just did my head in because I've used slabs and things and, and done a bit of sort of tricking trickery on how how I got it to look that way um, 
so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we've got the, uh, you can hear this, this has got frog lights underneath. It's a nice carpet up here to the throne. I think the throne looks all right. I might change a little bit, maybe, maybe go with something a little bit darker. I just, I just threw something together. I, I thought it looked, uh, looked pretty good and uh, King Zinkberg can sit on that. That's, that's gonna suit. I think the, uh, yeah, the color of it sort of matches my eyes. We have not done any work downstairs other than to get uh, the stone stair, uh, stone bricks down there. I have got a way up here now, so this is at least gives me access up the top without smacking my face every time I go up there. Yeah, that's that's basically it for the outside. As I said, that's that's mainly done. There'll be some little things that I'm going to change and things like that um, as I go. But this area here looks pretty cool. There's a bit of a pathway. There's another <laughs> red bed. <laughs> I'd love to do a count for how many there are. Yeah, I like this. I like this bit here. I like this sort of view outside, and it looks really cool up here. Still got to do some work on the lighting and things, getting the spacing right. So we have the wizards. The wizard's area here, he's just got a bedroom over here, there's not much to that there. This little bit I don't mind. Shh, you'll give it away. This bit here I don't mind. It. I'm a little bit... Put the stuff on the sides, like... Uh, it's hard to... Hard to build in the middle, particularly when there's a portal there that needs to be gone through, so... Anyway, there'll be a little library here. This is going to have some other things, so maybe a ladder and these bookcases might go up a little bit further. But that's basically it for for this. I haven't done a great deal more. It's That, that took up a, a heap of my time doing that. Um, the portal here will just quickly take you through uh, because I just want to show you the update on the industrial area. Uh, so, I still am still looking for the right item sorter. I know I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I was sort of hoping that <laughs> that someone who watches my videos would just go, oh yeah, easy, just do this one. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to end up looking into it. I, um, I, need, to, I need to get that sorted. So... Uh, this here, this is my AFK platform just for the, I've built a, um, a, black, a squid ink farm down there. Not real efficient and uh, I think, I mean water mobs have their own, their own mob caps. So I don't think that it's the fact that there are bees and sheep and things around and there's skeletons and zombies and stuff down there. I'll show you in free cam just what I mean. I so where I stand there, I do spawn. I can spawn squids just in there, but I, again, that shouldn't be affecting the rates too much here. So here, the squids. There you go. They form in the um, in the columns of water up there. They fall down onto the half a billion hoppers that I've placed here. And then there's chests there that they all go into, and there's a cart that I've set to uh, to pick those up. Let's go down, I'll just show you this bit. So we've got, yeah, this cart here just goes off, he goes down and collects whatever ink is in there. But there you go, that's just, that's just like while I've been playing around. I haven't really done any major AFKing up there. AFKing, yes, that's the right term. Yeah, there you go. So there's a couple more and it's fine. It does what it needs to do. I moved the beacon over here because I did a whole lot of clearing out over there. 
We have a concrete farm down here. Concrete farms, if you don't know, are not automatic. Um, they require you to make concrete powder, hold it in your offhand, get it wet with the water and uh, yeah. Anyway, that, that works it. That will give me a source of concrete and it's not too hard to, to do. Uh, over here, we've got uh, well, that was a wonderful waste of that. So here I've got a cobblestone and stone generator. This is really simple. It just has lava in it. You just stand here because of the beacon. We can just like that and it creates more. It's actually too efficient with the haste too. So. Yeah, that's every now and then you get one in your inventory. Every now and then one sits up the sits up the top of the water and doesn't fall down properly. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. So yeah, so you just use silk touch if you want it to be stone, and if you want it to be cobblestone, then you just um, use a a regular just a regular pickaxe. And, and then you'll get. Um, hmm. And then you'll get nothing. Did I use the wrong one again? I did. <laughs> See if that worked. There we go. So now we have cobblestone. <laughs> that good. Yeah, this is how it works, and then show how it doesn't work. For you guys, uh, number one. Number one. Please, if you have an item sorter that you like, I would prefer one that works with, sh with um, shulker boxes, just to put shulker boxes into, have it sort out however that goes, that's fine. If you know one, I'd really love to hear about it, to hear that that's the one you use and that's the one that I should use. If not, then I can go back to the Impulse SV one, and I'm, that that's still the way I'm leaning, just because I can't find a good shulker box one. So, um, yeah, that's my that's that. Uh, number two is you please find find help me find flea bag. Um, I hope you enjoyed the thing at the beginning of this. It's just a bit of fun. It's not meant to be amazing or anything. I, I'm having a lot of fun building those and doing those sorts of things. They take up a lot of time, but uh, I hope you're entertained by them. I'm, I'm certainly, uh, yeah, I, I have a ball making them, so that's good. Yeah, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. I, I'd love to have you here on the journey with me. Uh, we will do more work here. We're going to do more work on the castle and uh, yeah, we'll get uh, get lots of things going. Thank you so much again. This week has been amazing. I, I really feel chuffed with the comments and things that, that I've been receiving, um, particularly new people who have joined me for the first time, really made my week. I've been walking around with a big smile on my face and um, yeah, feeling pretty good. So thank you again, everyone. Um, love you all to death and, and, and thanks so much. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you again in next week's episode uh, we'll continue to put out these on Fridays and uh, yeah thanks for joining me see you later guys bye